Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're just starting to follow me, um, we've just moved into a house about two months ago and we have a daughter and two sons. And I have been meaning for a long, long time to do like a whole like total room makeover for my daughter, well for all of my kids, but my daughter's out of town right now and we've just had some huge issues with our house. Um, everything is fixed now, everything is good, but while she's out of town, I wanted to completely redo her bedroom. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the before shot and then um, get to her room makeover. And then I'm, she won't be back until next week. So I'm gonna wait until I do like a room reveal for her before I actually show you guys, before I upload this video. But I'm gonna do the before and the after and then like her ultimate you know, expression of what she thinks. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night is young. It doesn't matter what friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new again um, I just really enjoy having new subscribers new followers and I love getting to know you guys as well so if you have a chance if you think about it in the comments tell me what your favorite color is um, mine is teal um, I kind of fluctuate between I don't know teal and yellow and sometimes I'm trying to think sometimes pink uh, but those are kind of my top three I love color <clears throat> excuse me color as you can tell with my shirt on I have this tie-dye shirt on but yeah let me know what your fi top favorite color is and how you found my channel as well So this video was done in two different waves on two different days. So here I am just hanging up some curtains uh, for the window. Uh, she has one really small window in this bedroom and the curtains I believe are from Walmart and they are those blackout curtains but they don't have the second coat of layer on the inside of them. So they're just a little bit darker but they're still like they still help to block out some of the sunlight. And then my husband is here hanging up her bed canopy that we got on Amazon. And I will do my best to link all of these items that you see in this video. Um, some of the items are from Five and Below, so I won't be able to link those. But um, yeah, the um, the ones that I can link, I will definitely link in the description. So this dresser that you're seeing here is a dresser that we had gotten from Ikea and I was really nervous about Ikea. I had never been there before and I was going to record it but I don't think I was feeling very good that day so I didn't pick up the camera. But the dresser ended up to be really, really cute. I've just never known that you actually like build your own dresser from those places but at the end you will see um, the result of what the dresser looked like and I absolutely loved the color. It came in in a really good style and I paid about um, $250, $250 for it, which is a little bit more than I anticipated paying. But it's really pretty. I love the style and I like that it has like soft closed drawers. My daughter has forever been wanting these string lights to hang up in her room. I still need to get the little clothespins for them so that she can hang her pictures on them. But this came from Amazon and they were like between $11 and $12, so nothing to break the bank. Um, they're just those like copper wire um, strand lights and it was a really, really long strand. It took me like 10 minutes to unwind the thing off of the cardboard, which of course I didn't record. But then I'm using those clear, really small um, command hook type things. And I'm just putting the tape on the back of the hooks and sticking the hooks to the wall. And then I like loop around the wire onto the hook. And that's how I'm hanging them up. 
and originally I started a little bit too high and then realized that my daughter is 10 and that she's not very tall and that she needed um, her height to be a lot shorter. So I originally started out about a foot higher than where I'm at now. So I had to redo it and lower it. But she is loving these lights. They are so pretty at night and you'll see at the very end of the video how they ended up turning out. Also want to let y'all know that I'm having some like allergy issues. My face feels like it's on fire and there's a lot of pressure. So I probably sound very nasally and my nose is like constantly running right now. So it is either allergies or my sinuses are draining, but um, that is probably why I sound a little off today. A little, like I said, nasally, not feeling the best, but you know, we, we push through because we are moms. <laughs> changes, so change your heart. You'll probably notice here that the purple curtains are actually taken down. That is because I realized that after I hung them up that the room got super dark. Imagine that that happens with blackout blinds or blackout curtains. So I ended up taking them down. Um, I needed the natural sunlight to be able to film this video and I had an awkward time trying to find the right angle to get this done. So um, I did take the curtains down and then I'm just trying to fit her bed sheets to her bed. Um, we are all getting new beds, not new beds. Uh, my husband and I are getting a king size bed to accommodate kids like loving to come into our bed when it is thunderstorming, which happens quite a lot here. Um, and I'm just having some issues with my sleeping. So we are getting a king size bed, which means that our oldest is getting a queen size bed. There, he's getting our queen and then our daughter is gonna get his full size. So within the next probably two weeks, we're all going to be shifting beds. So um, probably in the next video that you guys see, um, all the beds are going to be completely different. So uh, this was obviously just to um, satisfy for what we have now. And then once we get the new beds, we will be shifting focus with all of the rooms. So sorry that went out of focus for a minute. But um, I just wanted to mention that this comforter is one of those pin tuck comforters. And I got it from a website that I actually do not recommend. Um, I purchased the comforter about two years ago, maybe three years ago. 
and the literally the very first time that I put it on her bed, one of the the nips or one of the tucks, whatever you call it, tore. I was so heartbroken because I did not pay a cheap price for this thing. I paid about $150 for the comforter with a pillow sham. And when I contacted the company, all they would offer was to give me 30% off my next purchase. So I was really kind of bummed about that. So um, I, I'm not going to say the name of the company unless you guys are just really interested in finding out what happened. My thoughts go back to when we were crazy kids with a lot of feelings. I'm too proud to beg and too numb for stealing. When I grow this is one of those salt lamps, and I actually got this at Five and Below. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you have to be super careful with salt lamps and animals because apparently they like to lick the salt, and it's very harmful for them. So I'm going to be making sure that our cats are not either in her room or that they are not anywhere near that lamp because I obviously don't want to have issues with my cats. So yeah, if you didn't know, salt it can be very dangerous for cats. You don't know of but these are long days and, even and now I'm just going through with the pictures that I had bought for her room and I'm trying to decide which picture would fit on which wall. I originally was going to put the larger picture on that wall and then I realized that the smaller picture was kind of um, swallowed on the bigger wall so I ended up changing this out and putting the love picture on the smaller wall and then putting the um, Bible verse on her larger wall so that it would cover over top her dresser and it just looked so much more appealing. This blanket is from Five and Below as well. It was just something I was walking through and I just kind of saw in the corner of my eye. The funny thing was this was like the last one on the shelf. So I figured, hey, I guess everybody else loves it too. So I thought I would grab that. And it has these little tassels at the end. And when I was looking at it, it was kind of like a grayish color. And then it had a little tiny bit of like gold thread throughout it. So I thought it was a really pretty addition to that blanket. And here I am trying to like throw it across the bed and see like how I like it the best. I never get that like side throw with a blanket. It never looks good whenever I do it. So I just ended up folding it into thirds and then placing it at the foot of her bed. once or twice. Doesn't look the same no more because the sun is made. Hey, friends. Sorry, I have no makeup on. <laughs> um, so, I've spent the morning trying to put my daughter's room together. She's coming home today. She hasn't been home in like two weeks. So, I'm so excited to see her. And I redid her room. So, she's going to be ecstatic to see what it looks like because it hasn't looked this good since we've moved in. So, um, I don't know if I did it before, Shaw. I probably didn't but this is what it looks like now. So we have this picture that we got from Five and Below, just a picture of the Eiffel Tower. We have a sign that my mom made her. It says, enjoy the ride. This set of stream lights I ordered from Amazon and I can link them in the description where she can put like little clothespins on it and hang her pictures since she's been on a trip. So she'll have fun doing that. We have her curtains. She's got purple curtains. Her favorite color used to be purple and then she kind of changed it. So everything is her favorite color now. This came from the Dollar Tree. I just thought it would fun be fun to kind of spice up the room a little bit. And the um, canopy thing also came from Amazon. I will link that as well. It's secured to the ceiling. So then we have her Anna and Elsa pillow and 
This pillow came from Target. She's gonna absolutely love that. It's soft and fuzzy. Then I just got her two pairs of new pajamas because she really, really needs new pajamas. And then we have her dresser. I just got this yesterday from Ikea. We had an issue with her old dresser, so we went ahead and went out and bought this. And my husband put it together yesterday, my husband and my son. And then we have these signs. This love sign I got from Five and Below. I thought it was super cute. Um, just, I don't know, just kind of matches her personality. And then this sign I got from Hobby Lobby. She is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. I just loved that saying. It just it fits in her room so well. And then she has a salt lamp right there that I got also from Five and Below. And then that basket is from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Spot at um, Target. And then there's her Eiffel Tower picture again. And I do plan on putting some kind of rug in here. I haven't decided what. Oh, and the blanket. The blanket is also from Five and Below. So just thought I would add a little bit of pop of color in here. She's going to be super extremely excited. I cannot wait to show her. She'll be home in probably about an hour and I will show her reaction to the bedroom. <laughs> oh, you like it? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. Mason, Mason. Yeah.